Salam everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the cam mic from Ceramonic. This is a small lightweight on-camera microphone that will improve the audio quality on your smartphone or even on your DSLR or SLR camera that accepts audio over three and a half millimeter headphone jack. This is TK, let's check it out. Bookmark is a free website builder service that offers you the opportunity to have a website built from zero to 100% in about two minutes by just answering seven simple questions. They utilize AI and they call it IDA. And this service actually is pretty cool. By just answering those seven questions, it gets you from zero to a full website ready for you to customize to your liking. You can even open up an online store. The box is pretty simple. Cam mic, again, lightweight on-camera microphone. Essentially, it's a small shotgun microphone that gets mounted on top of your camera using the cold true. Uh, there's no connection to the camera other than the cables that they provide us in the box and we'll get a chance to check them out. On the back of the box we have the specifications but the short answer is this is a directional condenser microphone and it will work great as long as it's pointed directly to the subject that you want to be able to capture the audio from. Now in the box we have a warranty card, we have two cables, uh, one of them is basically stereo to stereo. This is what you'll be using with your camera, let's say your SLR camera that has, has a three and a half millimeter headphone jack input audio for it. Um, and this one will be used with your smartphone. Now on one end here, it does say iOS, uh, but I did find that this works with the LG device that I have, the LG V40 that accepts external audio. Um, and of course the stereo plug, similar to the other stereo plug, plugs directly into the microphone. So what you end up doing essentially is you use the microphone, plug this on the right side, and then this goes into your smartphone. Uh, again, standard iOS, which is what it says, uh, but it does work with the LG V40, which is Android. Uh, and then the other one you'll be using if you're using it with your camera. And then taking a look at the actual microphone itself, as you can see, it's actually pretty small. So this is a comparison. This is the LG V40, and it's about the length of what the V40 is. Obviously, it's a lot thicker than the V40, uh, and there is basically a foam covering the entire thing. There is no battery requirement. Uh, this is basically powered directly when you connect it to your device, either be a smartphone or your camera. Um, on the back, we just have pretty much one option, uh, either on or off for, for the low cut filter. So this will be your normal audio, this will be low cut. And we're gonna do a comparison with this on uh, my A7 III here, which I prefer using definitely. Uh, and it does accept external audio. So for the most part, what we do is just use it here, slide, adjust the ring, make sure it's sitting correctly. And then for this one, we're gonna use the same camera cable here, one, two, and now the setup is done and all you need to do essentially is go outside and do a quick audio sample. So to show you guys how good the audio on this is going to go, uh, I'm going to do an audio sample with this on the a7 III, but I'm also going to show you guys how the audio is uh, when I'm comparing it to standard audio on the V40. So we'll start off with the V40 and then we'll switch over here. We're going to start off the comparison with a quick baseline. This is the V40 with the front facing camera at 1080p using the built in microphone so that you guys have a point of reference of how does the audio compare between standard microphones on the V40 comparing it to directly with the cam mic once I plug that in. So let's go ahead and switch over to the cam mic. I went ahead and plugged in the cam mic directly into the V40 and this should be a good comparison in audio. Now the microphone is positioned lower closer to me as opposed to on top of my camera as I'm using a selfie stick. But if you let's say have a rig that enables you to actually mount like a culture mount on top of a selfie stick, definitely use that option as then the audio will be directly pointed to you. Um, although at the bottom here, it still looks pretty good. Let me know in the comments below, of course, how do you think the audio compares between the original audio and the one with the cam mic? We're outside now and we're doing a quick test of the audio recording of this cam mic directly on our A7 III. Uh, the main benefit, of course, is the fact that A, it's small. It doesn't add that much bulk or weight to your camera. B, you don't need to necessarily power it because you just need to plug it in directly into your camera. You do have a low cut filter. We also have a foam a little bit to remove or help reduce the amount of wind distortion that we may get with the audio. But the top part of this is the fact that it not only works with your your camera but it'll also work with your smartphone because of that second cable that they included in the box for us so from the sense of what this can do and what are the benefits of the cam mic I think for the price point you're getting good audio you're getting flexibility as far as usability with cameras smartphones it's small it's light and it provides a great audio I went ahead and switched the low cut filter on just to give you guys a comparison between the first clip and this one this should sound a little bit better as we were able to remove some of those low humming noises in the background still focused on the subject and this is gonna work really good at about maybe two to three feet away from the camera as again this is a shotgun microphone the further away you are the
the more it has to try to pick up. Uh, other than that, again, with the benefit uh, of the price point, about 80 bucks, small form factor, the cables that come with it, and the way it works, I think this is a great deal from Ceramonic. So if you're looking for better audio out of your vlogging camera setup, I think the cam mic is definitely a really good contender. Uh, of course, all the information will be in the description below. Thank you very much for checking out the video, and thank you very much for subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next video.